here on Evening Magazine. All this week, we're going to be touring some very popular cities with some very well-known people as your tour guides. In addition to that, we're going to stop by some of the area amusement parks and check on some of their latest rides. Tonight, we're at Kennywood. That's right. And this is the big new attraction this season at Kennywood. It's called Raging Rapids. And it's being talked about for two reasons. One, it's brand new, very exciting. And wet. The second reason is that Jack Lambert has returned as Kennywood spokesperson with a new set of commercials featuring Raging Rapids. But this year he's brought along a friend and convinced his friend to ride the rapids with him. That's right. That friend in this case is the well-known sportscaster, the man with the unmistakable voice, Myron Cope. And I think when you see our story, you'll agree that Jack and Myron make one of the better comedy teams we've ever seen before. That's right. And they also have made one of the funniest commercials we've ever seen. Take a look. Kennywood, roll 431. Jack Lambert is back. The Steelers' strong man is suiting up during the off-season again to take on another Kennywood challenge. Year, Jack rode Kenny Wood's roller coasters in a TV commercial for the park. This year, the six foot, 200 pound linebacker is tackling a new ride Wet and Wild Raging Rapids. And he's taking along a friend, veteran sportscaster Myron Cope. Joy, I can't believe it! Jack Splatt is really going to ride Kenny Wood's new Raging Rapids! And guess who's coming with me, Myron? So he is getting even for 11 years of alleged abuse. I got an opportunity today to uh, to dump about a gallon of water on Myron's head about 20 times in a <laughs> row. And I, I've never had more fun in my life. I really enjoyed it, it's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing a little bit more before it's all over. Who, who named you Jack Splat anyhow? I don't know, but I'd like to find the guy that did, believe TV commercial was written by Mark and Company in Pittsburgh and produced a month before the Kennywood ride was installed. So they needed a whitewater ride to shoot on. They went to King's Dominion Park in Richmond, Virginia, where an identical ride has been in operation for three years. I'm terrified. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, God. The four-minute trip down the man-made rapids actually simulates a ride aboard a whitewater raft. Jack are swept downstream, underneath waterfalls, past spouting geysers. Oh, I got an inch of water in my shoes. Fantastic. Except Myron wouldn't let go of my arm. I got a big bad bruise right here. Down they go again, and as if the ride isn't wet enough, Buckets and buckets of water are thrown on the fearless duo. Great shots for the camera. The fun never dries up on Kennywood's new Raging Rapids. You know, they uh, they send a different guy out each trip to throw the bucket of water on us. You know, they keep you because they each one, and when they come back in, they resign. Jerseys, football helmets, hats, goggles, and even rubber duckies can't keep the torrents of water from soaking the stars of this commercial. But the film camera stays dry all day long. It has the best waterproof garment of all, plastic garbage bags. We're ready. Even though it's a warm day, in the 80s, this water is cold, and there's no chance to dry off after they finish each ride. It's always time again to go around once more. So how does Jack Lambert feel about getting wet again and again? None of your business. Get away. <laughs> In the end, it takes 13 trips around the raging rapids before the director gets all the shots he needs. Too wet for me. Too wet for me. Too wet for me. Right now, it's like when Columbus sighted land. <laughs> land! Last 
year, Lambert soloed on the Thunderbolt. This season, one of his friendly adversaries in the sports media world is sharing the spotlight with him. Kind of, I'm really kind of jealous because Myron gets to use all the props. He gets all the good lines. He's stealing the commercial from him. I'm not real happy about it. In the end, Jack gets the last word and the last dunk in a commercial that ends with a splash. Good thing I've got my terrible towel. It sure is, Myron. <laughs> I love that look when Jack grabs Myron by the shoulders and jerks him up. Yes, and in case you didn't notice, that is a ride on which you can get wet. Oh, As yeah. a matter of fact, they had to change the signs in King's Dominion. The sign used to say, warning, you will get wet, to now it says, warning, you will get soaked. <laughs> and we're going to be taking the plunge ourselves here in just a few minutes, but up next, we're going to just lock on the rapids. Good night. See ya. Let's get wet. This is John Sanders. Today, the Major League owners made an all-or-nothing proposal in their negotiations with the players, who will meet on Wednesday, and they're talking about a strike vote. I'll have the latest. Join me at 11.